Now, the leader of the Mieti Alakato Brothers Association in Plato State has denied allegations that herders killed 17 people on Sunday. Mohammed Abdullah is also accusing the governor of Plato State of ethnic bias when handling issues that border on dispute between Fulanese and persons of other tribes. Jacinta Obuku tells us more. A dozen people were killed in Kusha town in Kuru district of Plateau State by gunmen on Sunday. Five other people were killed in another town in Plateau State at the same time and on the same day. The locals in both cases said Fulani headers were responsible. But the state chairman of Mieti Allah Kato Breeders Association of Nigeria, Mohamed Abdullahi, says the allegations are untrue. We, as an association, we didn't back any killing or destruction of property of one another. For the past 20 years, they have been suspecting Fulani, 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 and up to today, there is no result. A lawyer who has been fighting for justice for victims of attacks in Plateau State disagrees. He says there was prior intelligence that the areas would be attacked. The analysis there is that, you know, uh, uh, last month we received an information, it went viral on air and also in the social media, that Plateau State judge will be attacked by Boko Haram. Shortly after that, we started witnessing attacks by Fulani hitmen. And now, do we now say it is Boko Haram that is attacking us who have joined forces with Fulani hitmen, or it is Fulani hitmen on their own, exclusively without, you know, you, you know the involvement or the you know, collaboration of uh, um, a Boko Haram that are attacking Plateau. Mohammed says Fulanis have also been victims of attacks and accuses Plateau State Governor Simon Lalong of bias. When it comes to Fulani being killed, they never mention it in any media. They will not issue out uh, statements condemning such an act. But when it is the other side of the story, they, they try to con condone people uh, that are affected and then they visit them, they assist them and other things like that. What the government of Plato State are doing and some of the security agencies is a bias in mind in, in treating these issues. Both Dao Yang and Mohammed agree that security agencies need to do better. Governor Lalong has in the meantime directed the state police command to investigate the killings. Jacinta Obugu for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.